a very good morning to class 5 children today we will be doing punctuation this, this is a grammar topic which we should be we shall be starting from today because a lot of grammar to be done in worksheet form so in this um in this uh, topic you have to punctuate punctuate means you have to put you have to put uh, these sentences with full stops commas and capital letters now let's read this lesson this is the first uh, sentence we go for a walk on monday tuesday and friday now <coughs> and fridays it, please correct the sentence we go for a walk on mondays tuesdays and fridays this always this the s is is not written here it is we go for a walk on mondays tuesdays and fridays so v w would be capital we go for a walk after walk there will be a comma on mondays tuesdays and fridays you have to put s and at the end you have to put the full stop now next priya come here and help me so priya the p should be capital after priya there will be a comma because after priya you are giving a pause aap ruk rahe ho you are stopping yourself priya come here and help me after me you have to put a full stop third <coughs> they road they road it is not r o a d it is r o d e they road they road over the bridge down the road and into the farm so they it is r o d e not r o a d they ka d t should be capital over the bridge comma down the road and into the farm full stop so you have to put a comma after bridge and you have to write t as capital and it is r o d e road not r o a d road then next mrs sharma planted roses tulip carnations and sunflower in the garden mrs sharma's m should be capital sharma ka s is capital planted roses comma tulip comma carnations and flowers in the garden full stop number 5 my brother was born on may 9 2006 now my m should be capital was born on may 9 after may 9 there is a comma 2006 full stop number 6 rajiv who is the best cricketer can't play today rajiv after rajiv it is comma who is the best cricketer comma can't play today full stop now after this seventh yes why should be capital comma i agree with you full stop number 8 the baby pigeon which fell out of the nest now is fully now fully grown the baby pigeon the baby pigeon t should be capital the baby pigeon now there will be no comma after pigeon because there is a which after that the baby pigeon which fell out of its nest comma now fully grown full stop number 9 i went to see the adventures of robin hood with my friend i should be capital want ni went i want to see the adventures see after c there is a comma then it is the apostrophe the adventures of robin hood is a complete drama so when you write a drama name it should be an apostrophe the adventures of robin hood after robin hood there is a apostrophe up which should be closed with my friends full stop last number 10 dr rajendra prasad was the first president of india dr rajendra ka r is capital prasad was the first president of india president ka p should be capital of india is the 
after of India is full stop. So please do this punctuation in your class for copy. This is very very important. This will come in the exam. <clears throat> you can write. You need not have to write the, uh, the punctuation again. You just have to write the correct punctuation sentence 1 to 10 in your grammar notebook. Now after this again there is a punctuation which you have to do it in your grammar notebook. And it is the first one being how many stamps do you have? Now this is a question mark sentence. So you have to write a question mark at the end and H should be capital. How many stamps do you have? Number two. Can you tell me what time it is please? Can you tell me what time it is please? It ka I will be small. Can ka C will be capital and question mark. Because again this is a question we are asking. Number three, help, I am going to fall, help, exclamatory mark after help, I will be capital and after fall will be a full stop. Number four, Karan, you have done your homework, haven't you? Karan, K capital, comma, you have done your homework, comma, haven't you? Question mark, do you know the answer of this sum? Duka D is capital and after sum it is a question mark. Number six. Well done. You have passed the examination with flying color. You have passed, not passed, you have passed because it is a present perfect tense. Passed diagram. Well done. W capital. Well done. After done it is exclamatory note. You have passed the examination with flying colors. Full stop. Now after this, number seven, you are going to mark it, aren't you? You ka Y capital, mark it ke baad full stop, aren't you? Question mark. You are going to the market, sorry, you are going to the market, comma, aren't you? Kya tum jaani rahe? So question mark. Hooray, our team has won the championship. After hooray, exclamatory note. Our team has won the championship. Full stop. It's really, it's really, it's a love, no. It's a lovely day. It's really, it's a lovely day. Isn't it? It's not, it's really, it's a lovely, it's a lovely day. Isn't it? It's ka I will be capital. After day, it is a comma. Isn't it? Question mark. Now, number 10. Oh, I have lost the needle. Oh, exclamatory note. Oh, after oh, I have, I ka, I have, I ka, I should be, I have lost the needle. Full stop. Alas, the king is no more. Alas, the A should be capital and there will be an exclamatory note. The king kati should be capital is no more full stop. So children do this punctuation well because this is very important. This punctuation will be coming and I will be giving you more worksheets on this. So please do this punctuation both these worksheets in your grammar copy and have a nice day. And for the apostrophe we will be doing will be first uh, we will be doing apostrophe today itself. Now let's first you finish this punctuation and I will give you another video on apostrophe after some time. Okay.